The Education Trust Equity in Motion Project is meant to look at how issues of equity are playing out in classrooms all across the country. In our first report, we took a look at over 1,500 assignments. The second report takes a closer look at just a handful of assignments to see how we're doing and implementing our rigorous college and career ready standards. In this publication, we share six assignments that come from grades 6, 7, and 8. The assignments come from English language arts, social studies, and science classrooms. The assignments fall within the low, medium, and high ranges on our framework. Assignments that fall in the high range are worthy of careful consideration as they, and assignments like them, hold much promise for our middle school students. For each assignment, we first note how it scored on the framework, and we list details that support that scoring. And finally, we post questions for educators to consider as they look closely at these assignments. As we analyzed the assignments, five key areas stood out for us. First, alignment to the Common Core presented to us the idea of, did this assignment align with the appropriate grade level standard? We also considered whether or not the assignment embraced the spirit of the Common Core, which for us means our students frequently engaging in the critical thinking required through reading, discussing, and writing about complex texts and topics across disciplines. Next, we looked at discussions, and discussions are an important part of the middle school experience because we want our students to practice and refine the elements of argumentation as they comprehend and consider the ideas of others. Teacher scaffolding speaks to the temporary supports that a teacher will provide for students as they work towards independence. Text and task complexity acknowledges the tension that exists when middle school teachers assign students to work with texts. At times, a text that may have seemingly less complex language but a highly complex theme pushes that cognitive challenge. At other times, a text may be highly complex but the task is filled with scaffolding or centers on lower levels of cognitive thinking. We argue that there must be a time when both the text and task are complex. Motivation and engagement continues to undergird our analysis. First, we think about relevancy and how an assignment can be a pathway from the known to the unknown or from the simple to the complex. We also think about the autonomy that educators are fostering with our adolescents. Where are the moments for students to exercise this independence in the choices that they make? And when are they given opportunities to work with their peers and to collaborate with other classmates? So it's important uh, for us to note that teaching and learning is really complex. As practitioners, we understand that. Um, and we know that a single assignment doesn't sit within a vacuum. It's actually um, a part of a much larger context and our framework is not designed to encompass all of these contexts. Um, rather, it's designed to isolate the features and characteristics within a single assignment, and then be able to look at the data and trends that exist um, across multiple assignments uh, for a classroom or even multiple classrooms within a school. We don't recommend nor expect that every assignment meet all of the indicators on our framework. This is actually more about proportionality. That's the key thing here. How frequently do students receive high quality assignments that scored well on our framework? And these are the kinds of assignments uh, that ask students uh, to provide textual evidence um, that demand uh, strategic thinking and extended writing, and even assignments that give students the opportunity for choice. Um, that's the real question. 